a stick holding that box up. And when the lizards would go right under the box, we would pull the string attached to this stick and it would do this. Now we're gonna walk this worm all the way over to a lizard. Oh, as we noticed, oh, all right, something just came out of the bush here. Welcome back to another episode of A1A Adventures. Today, if you haven't seen any of our TikToks recently, where we are trying to catch my escaped pet lizards. Well, you're gonna see my pet lizards today, and we're gonna go ahead and demonstrate several of the methods we've been using to try to catch these lizards, as well as offer them a little bit of food and to check on them to see how they're doing. So stay tuned, this is gonna be a fun vlog. Let's see, I just pulled up here. I see one right here. Here is one. Oh, there it goes. Once again, they are so fast. There are so many more. I, oh, oh, there's one all the way down there. All the way down there. This is our famous spot for dropping all of these worms here where we can go ahead and try. Oh, they are so quick. The exact specific species many people are asking, what are these lizards? They are Bohemian curly tails. Now, they are an invasive species to South Florida, so they do overpopulate and they offset the ecosystem down here in South Florida a lot. So they are considered a pest, just like the green iguana as well. So curly tails aren't necessarily the most favoritized or favorable animal that are a part of our wildlife here in South Florida. So once again, they are a pest. I love all animals, however. I love reptiles, so I cherish these little gems. They're pretty cool. I do respect them, so we're not gonna try to torment them. We're not gonna try to damage the niche they already have in the ecosystem, even if it offset a balance. We wanna respect nature. So let's go ahead and have fun, and let's go check out some curly-tailed lizards. So one of the main problems that I've encountered is that they always run right into the bottom of the bushes. Now, I can guarantee there's probably about 50 of them within all of these bushes, all the way up the sidewalk right here, that are watching me from deep within the brush in there. So I can, I mean, these, these are pretty smart reptiles, to say the least. I'm pretty impressed with how they've been able to kind of strategize to avoid getting caught many different times, many different methods that we've all put together and the comments have been absolutely amazing as far as the suggestions that you guys bring and kind of put forth for us to try and some of them have worked and some of them haven't. Also, if you're questioning on what have we been feeding these lizards and what lures them into these traps that we've built, well, your answer is right here. These are superworms. I'm sure a lot of people are kind of grossed out about them, but they are very common, very popular as an awesome staple diet in the reptile community and the pet industry and the pet trade. So these are extremely popular, very healthy. They have an awesome ash and protein to fat ratio. So if you do have a reptile at home, this can definitely be a key as far as providing substantial nutrition to them as well as these wildlife, as these little curly tailed lizards absolutely love them. And let me go ahead and show you. We're gonna go ahead and feed several of these wild curly tailed lizards some of these worms right now. So let's do it. Right. Ooh, look at those wormies. I'm gonna sprinkle one of these guys right out there. Boom, perfect. And I noticed down here, there is a little baby one right in the middle of the screen. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this all the way out to it, right there, right next to the worm. There's a little baby. So let's see if it wants it. This could be an awesome meal that could probably, oh, it's eating something already. Let's zoom in. This can be a meal that can probably feed it for the entire day. So let's see. It's gonna eat it, it's gonna eat it. Oh, it did, look at it, look at it. Oh, and it ran away, it ran away with it. It's enjoying it so much. You see how fast they are? They are like lightning. So once again, trust me, I'm pretty slick and nimble when it comes to trapping. I'm not that sloppy. These little lizards are absolutely lightning fast. And also on that note, so let's go ahead and check out some of the traps that we've built based off of the comments and suggestions that you left down below. So this is just a little update if you haven't seen any of them. We're not gonna go ahead and set any of these up today as they do take a while. They take a while as far as for the lizards to come. So, I mean, granted, the TikToks are only 15 seconds long, but these take hours to actually execute and have the lizards even somewhat spot the food out and come out. So we've been putting these worms in a Tupperware and leaving it right here outside the door over there. So as the lizards do climb up, as we'll put another 
with worms right here. The lizards actually climb right up to the side and then they go over here and they can look in here and go in the hole and that's where we will go ahead and take them and take this bin up as they can't climb because these walls of this Tupperware bin are pretty tall, so they can't climb glass, they can't climb smooth surfaces, they're pretty much ground lizards, not arboreal ones that can climb trees or anything of the sort. And next, the other classic method we were using was like the old school cartoon traps, how to trap a mouse or a mouse trap, where there would be a box, and then there would also be a stick holding that box up with the stick having a fishing line attached to it. And when the lizards would go right under the box, we would pull the string attached to this stick and it would do this. And that's it. So we would, before we were leaving the bowl of worms as suggested as the video went viral, to keep the bowl of worms underneath the Tupperware, which did work pretty well. However, this Tupperware wasn't as big as it really should be because the distance from the side the lizards were able to run out by the, the timing as people were also very intelligently suggesting to put a weight on top of the box so the box would drop down faster versus it dropping down this fast, which still is pretty fast in my opinion, watch. Now, in that amount of time as it takes to actually hit the ground is enough time, as you saw how fast as, as those lizards were out there, they have enough time to run either to the left, the right, the front, the back, wherever, in order to get out in that amount of time. So they're able to escape fast enough. So it's still not 100% perfected yet as far as the timing goes, but we are on our way. So those are the two trap designs that we've demonstrated recently. And of course, last but not least, the most recent, the net. We've used the net at the last most recent post while this video is about to be posted. In the most recent TikTok post, we used the net. That one seemed to be the most effective as far as getting close enough to these lizards. Someone even had the genius idea and said, put the worm in the net. So let's just see, we'll put the worm in the net. Now we're gonna walk this worm all the way over to a lizard. As the sun comes up in the morning, they do bask along all of this bright sunshine to gain their vitamin D for the morning. And as cold-blooded reptiles, they do need the heat in order to aid in digestion and energy. So that absolutely helps them wake up in the morning and now we're on the, oh, we're on the search. We are on the search. We found one right there in the shadows in the middle of the screen. So let's go ahead and drop the worm. And we'll see if we can get close enough with the net. Come here, wormy. You're halfway through the net, halfway not. Got it. All right, cool. So we got the worm. We're going to go ahead and throw it right in the middle, in the sunshine. We'll see if we can get close enough with the net. Oh, is he going to see it? Is he going to see it? Remember, it's right there in the shadows right there in the shadows. People are probably looking at me like, this guy is crazy, he's walking around with a net, and there's lizards right there. We don't want that little worm to fall into the crack as it's aligned with the crack right there. So let's go ahead and move it, hold on one sec. Come here, wormy. There's the worm. Does anybody want it? Does anybody want it? Who's gonna come out and take this worm? <gasps> the lizard's over there, he sees it. He sees it. See it? Ooh, you're gonna get it. Well, there goes the worm. So the worm's gone. Let's go ahead and get another one. Matter of fact, I'm gonna bring the whole entire bowl with us. Ooh, that, ooh, that lizard. That lizard, I think, probably has seen that worm. Yep. Oh, it has it in its mouth. It has it in its mouth. Can we get a shot of that? Can we get a shot of that? Oh, it actually had it. Time for the next piece of bait. Okay, so we have another worm here. Let's go ahead and throw it. However, I don't see another lizard right now, so that's not guaranteed. Another one's going to come out right here. Uh, oh, I see another one over there. I see another one right over here. Perfect. They're always, no, 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 no. Don't go anywhere. I have a treat. I have food. You are crazy. You, oh, goodness right into the bush, you are crazy. If you would have seen that I actually had food, you wouldn't have ran, or at least not in that direction. Oh, there are more out and about. I see one right here, and this is in the wide open. This is a good shot. So let's go ahead and throw that worm to this lizard. Wormy, wormy, wormy. All right, so we got the worm again. Nice little gentle yeet. 
So there's the worm. Will any of the lizards come out? Do they remember me from yesterday when I was doing the post just recently in the past 24 hours of chasing these lizards with this net? And also I must add, on the end of this net, it's very good because look, it's like string. So it's really soft. It's not a, it's not a hard plastic edge that you could actually injure them if you happen to strike the net fast enough and miss them by accident and kind of catch them or snag them with the rim of the net. But see, like I said, they are getting smarter. They are getting wiser. They are in the thickness. They are into the thick of it right now in this bush. I'm sure they're watching it. So, hmm, will anybody be a victim today other than this worm? And just so you can appreciate the time span on how long this takes, I've been staring at this worm right now for almost 10 minutes long and nothing. Nothing until now, nothing until now. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, will you get it? Will you get it? Will you get it? Will you get, can we get you? See, I even just moved. I'm about, I'd say about 10 feet away from this right now. And oh, there's no way, there is no way we are going to be able, as fast as that is, I'm standing still like a statue right now, but this worm is only moving closer to this lizard's lair in that hole. Will I be able to snag it? Will I be able to even show the net? Will I even be able to show it? It is showing so much interest in this worm and it's ducking right behind somewhere in those bushes. I saw it on that little rusted plate right there, that little sewer cover. But where are we gonna be able to see? Now my net can reach right to here from where I'm at. But once again, see I heard it run in there. It is watching this worm. I'm sure several of them right now are watching this worm. And they're all thinking, ha ha, he, think he, he thinks he has us. And he doesn't, and he doesn't. Which is still entirely okay because I just wanted to show you these lizards in full frame and not in a quick 15 second clip. And in the most recent TikTok, I did run out of these worms as I did bring extra today so we can go ahead and feed them together. Because as my pet lizards, they've escaped and I don't want them to starve. Quickly. Somebody come and eat it. It's going to walk and fall in that little crack. If they go into the little cracks of the sidewalk, they are hard to they are hard to get back as well as there are a lot of little holes and crevices down there where lizards do live. So, I'll let this one actually go ahead and venture off. So, as nothing really came out right away to snag this little superworm that we have right here to offer, we still have many more as I brought today. Since catching is apparently not on the agenda. Where did we leave that cup? Boom, there we go. Surprise there's no lizards right out here looking in this cup. So now all we have to do is just walk around and look for some hungry mouths to feed. Sometimes walking up here you could see them just basking right under the bush. So we'll see if we could see any peeping out for this sunshine this morning. Oh, is that one? Oh, it's just a screw. I must also note that these Bohemian curly tails also do take responsibility for reducing the population in our more indigenous anoles that we have, which are a little smaller breed or species of a reptile and a lizard as well, because they do eat them. So they do somewhat, once again, affect the ecosystem as its natural balance has been for a very long time prior to their invasive existence in Florida which hasn't been for that long. I'd like to say, I think uh, 10, 15 years or so and a heavy abundance of. Ooh, I see a baby. I see a baby. There's a baby right there in the middle of the screen. So is that the same baby we fed before? I don't know, but we're gonna go ahead and feed it now again. So come here, baby. Come here. Yum, 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 yum. Go get it. Are you gonna fight it? Are you gonna fight it? Oh, look at that curly tail. You can see their tail absolutely defines and stands behind their name as a curly tail. Their tails are always curled up. And look at this little one. Look at this little one showing his stuff. Showing his stuff. Sizing up that mealworm. Superworm, shall I say. Mealworms are about half the size of superworms, as this superworm does look a little bit almost too big for that lizard to tackle, for it to completely devour, as standard and, ooh, 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 they are actually gonna fight now. Rule of thumb, ooh, that lizard's actually fighting it. It's actually fighting it. 
because, oh, it ran away with it. It ran away. Now, as a safe rule of thumb, if you do have pet reptiles at home, you don't want to feed it a worm bigger than the width of eye to eye from its two eyes. If it's bigger than the width of from eye span, and nah, that's not going to be good for that animal to swallow. That one kind of was, but once again, it was nature. I didn't see how big it was, but it definitely ran away with a big old meal. All right, and by the looks of it, we only have three more, so we have to go ahead and find three more lizards to feed these two. Oh, I see two. Oh, I just saw two, but I still see one right over there in the corner. So let's go ahead and drop. We have three left, three worms left. I'm gonna go ahead and give them two, see if they both come out. Alrighty, so we got the two. Let's go ahead and yeet them over to them. Ready, yeet. Oh, those aren't gonna last long. Look, look, look. Oh, it ran away. It ran away with the one. See, they are so quick. Is the other lizard going to see the other worm that we left? We offered you two. I'm sure one worm in that bush over there saw that lizard come back with one worm. It says, hey, where's mine? There's one left for you. Is anyone going to take it? Any takers? Any takers? Any takers? That's a thick worm for a thick lizard. Well, it's been five minutes and nobody has claimed this worm, so we're gonna go ahead and take it back. <gasps> I just heard them, I just heard them. Did you guys see these bushes ruffle? If you can go back, look for these bushes, they just ruffled, something just jumped from these bushes. So let's go ahead and take this worm and maybe move it over. Maybe move it over a little bit and take a step back. So let's give it another shot. Now, if you haven't noticed already, these lizards are somewhat ambush-like, you know, coming from the bush, no pun intended, as they wait for their prey to walk up slowly to its lair or where its home is in the bush where it can camouflage and hide in the shadows of all those leaves. And then when their prey is close enough to them as a predator, boom, they strike. Thus an ambush. Oh, as we noticed, oh, all right, something just came out of the bush here. Is this the same or is this, is this a different one? Is this the same or a different one? What is this? What is this? You are a curly tail indeed though. You came back. I know I'm very close. I don't have my net, so no worries. But there, there's your meal. Take it. Take it. Oh, that was an awesome grab. That was an awesome snag. Follow you back to your lair. So that was the two worms we had left of the three. We have one left. Who is going to be the lucky lizard today? The lucky bohemian curly tail lizard to accept the offering. Was kind of looking for Big Daddy. That was the big monster one we were trying to trap recently so that one is a huge curly tail that's like the alpha the mecca of all these curly tail lizards if you see him you can't miss it it is a big one it's like five times the size of all of these lizards definitely the king curly tail in these bushes just one worm one worm anybody want the worm i just saw the smallest curly tail i've ever seen in my life but i want to show you an anole if you could see an anole right there oh it just jumped but that's okay because this is Florida and we have so many of them. So right here on this tree branch in the middle, right by the stop sign, you could see that is an anole. Now those are traditionally our indigenous lizards right there. Right on this tree bark, you could see it crawling very fast. They're extremely fast, but this is a victim of what the curly tails do actually eat and they reduce the population of. So curly tails, that's why I'm feeding you worms today. Those curly tails do be growing about 10 times the size of those anoles too. Come on, lizards, if nobody wants this, you guys are missing a good meal. I'll just eat this thing myself. There's a baby, there's a baby, there's a baby all the way up there. Let's see, will it come out? Will it come out to eat? Will it eat this worm? Will one of those curly tails come out to eat that worm? It's the last one. That's the last one. And sadly, it didn't want it. Oh, here's a little one here. Let's just go ahead and just do this now while we have this little baby right there. This is a new baby, actually. This is a new one. So let's go. Oh, it's looking. Oh, it's going to be looking for something. And you can tell it's a little skinnier. So it is, is out for a morning meal. So let's go ahead and offer it a meal. Go ahead, little one. Go ahead. Oh, it's crawling towards it. I wonder what this lizard's thinking right now because it is a curly tail too. It's a little more on the leaner side, which it's a little bit, a little more skinnier than the rest. Maybe it really needs this worm. Maybe it really, really could use that nutrition. 
I'm sure it is pretty scarce for some of these lizards to compete for food out here, too. Oh, that's right. That's not another lizard. That's a worm. I know you're looking at me, too, very unsure. And I'm not going to trap you, I promise. I'm not going to trap you. We're just here to feed you. Go ahead. You are the most patient curly tail and very aware, I must give you credit, very aware that I have seen in a very long time. Did we feed you this morning? Come on. It's right there. Okay, so what this situation definitely tells me is that yes, this must have been a lizard we did feed this morning and now it is getting the sun it needs properly to transform its blood into a warmer temperature so it can properly digest that worm that we did feed it. Because as you look over here, there is the other worm being untouched right now. And really not even too much interest is being shown by this curly tail. And this lizard seems so relaxed that it's not even bothered by me. It's just enjoying a nice full digestion in the sun and I probably, oh wait, now you're getting nervous. Now you're getting scared. Okay, so yes, Mr. Curly Tail, I'm going to go ahead and move out of your sunshine and let you enjoy. Look, see, it wants the rays and we're able to get this close so it can properly digest or warm up enough to have a proper metabolism and digest the food it is about to get very shortly for its breakfast. And as this worm has its own little adventure, nothing seems to be showing any interest. So Mr. Worm, you are being pardoned by this little curly tail over here. But there is one more last opportunity. All the way down there I do see one. So let's continue on this adventure of feeding the curly tail lizards instead of trapping them. Just for once, right? There it is. There's the big boy. That's not the big daddy one we were mentioning before, but I'm gonna go ahead and just throw this right there so we could see it. And I know it will or should want to come get it. We are far enough from it. This is the last worm on this adventure of feeding the escapees, the escaped pet reptiles. Curly-tailed lizards, bohemian curly-tailed lizards in South Florida. When I say thousands and thousands of them run aimlessly down here, that biker, the biker, she scared the lizards. No, the worst thing he could have done. No. Okay, on that note, you deserve to be pardoned. So, good luck, Mr. Worm. It's rough out there. Wait, just maybe, I'll get a stick. Can I shimmy it out? Can I shimmy? Can I shimmy? Can we get it? Can we get it? Can we get it? We got it, we got it. All right, we got it, we got it. Cause I see another one over here. I see another one, I see another one. I think it'll eat it, I think it'll eat it. One's running from all the way over there, all the way up on that curb. It sees it, oh, it sees it, it sees it. Oh, it ran from, that could have been the one we saw from a long time ago. Oh, you deserve it, you deserve it, you deserve it. Follow you back to your lair, follow you back to your lair. And that about sums it up. Thank you so much for joining us on this episode of A1A Adventures as we did go around and look at some of the curly tails and the beautiful gems of wildlife we do have here in South Florida. They are so aggressive and displayed their voracious eating habits as it's a privilege to have them in my backyard all the time here. So for the sake of these curly tail lizards, if you can, please like this video, subscribe to this channel, and stay tuned for the next adventure. As always, stay adventurous. A1A Adventures.